Buzz, I'm here in DC, Brooklyn, West Special Housing. Camera operator, date and time on this display on the camera. Time is uh, September 14th, 2012. Time is approximately 6.18 p.m. Camera operator, state your name and title, please. Senior Officer Arpasad. Uh, we are currently located in the Special Housing Unit at DC Brooklyn where M.A. Wilson, register number 71460053, is refusing to voluntarily submit to hand restraints. The inmate is located on the recreation deck on range number two. The inmate cannot be approached without a danger to self or others, and at this time it has been determined that the delay in bringing the situation under control will constitute a serious hazard to inmates or others. As such, Warden Strada has authorized the following use the use of the following chemical agents or munitions. A stun gun, 3705 foam baton, and a sting ball grenade. The following is a description of the incident resulting in the use of force in the inmate's history. Inmate Wilson is currently refusing staff orders to submit to hand restraints to be removed from the recreation deck. Inmate competition avoidance will be conducted by B. Somerville counselor. In the event competition avoidance procedures prove ineffective, the warden has authorized the use of force move team to extract the inmate Place them in ambulatory restraints in cell number 13 on range number one. Okay, the inmate will be placed in ambulatory restraints due to the fact that he has become violent or displayed signs of imminent violence. The four cell move team will now introduce themselves, state their responsibilities, and if they are willing to participate in this move. My name is Senior Officer Hope, I'm the number one team member. My assignment is pinning the disruptive inmate's body to the wall on floor. I'm willing to participate in this use of force and have no apparent injuries or diseases to report at this time. My name is Senior Officer Jimenez. I'm a number two team member. My assignment is the upper appendage to my right. Um, I'm willing to participate in this use of force. I have no injuries to report at this time. My name is Senior Officer Taylor. I'm the number three team member on this use of force. I'm responsible for <coughs> restraining the upper left appendage. I have no injuries to report at this time, and I'm a willing to participate. My name is uh, Senior Officer Special Zocalo. I am the number 14 member. My assignment is to secure the inmate's lower appendage to my right. I am willing to participate, participate in this use of force and I have no apparent injuries or diseases at this time. Senior Officer Terry, I'm the number five man in this use of force team. My assignment is to secure the inmate's lower left appendage and apply leg irons. I'm willing to participate in this use of force and I have no injuries to report at this time. My name is Senior Officer Frias. I'm the number six. I'm here for the support. I am a willing participant in this use of force. I have no uh, injuries at this time or diseases. My name is Counselor B. Somerville. I'll assist the team by talking with the inmate and attempt to persuade him to submit to restraints. I am willing to participate in this use of force. I have no apparent injuries or diseases at this time. My name is M. Matos, the Assistant Security Officer. And my assignment is to uh, be the chemical munitions dis dispenser. Upon direction of the uh, team leader, I would dispense uh, a warning shot from the 37 millimeter uh, foam baton. If feasible, I would try to uh, target the extremity areas, arms, inner thighs, legs. Um, if that's not feasible, then uh, I'll dispense a 60 caliber sting ball grenade upon which the, um, after, this, after dispensing the ammunition, the team, leader, the team will then uh, enter the uh, rec deck and do the inmate. I have no injuries at this time. Okay, at this time, medical staff will now introduce themselves and state their responsibilities. My name is M. Delone. I'm the nurse on duty. I'm willing to participate as the nurse on duty during the entire enforced cell move. I have no injuries or diseases at this time to prevent me from participating in this move. Should the use of force be necessary, I will be con conducting a medical assessment and checking the restraint for proper circul circulation of extremities. This inmate is not clear for the use of OC spray due to his respiratory illnesses. Okay, Warden Strada has authorized the inmate Wilson to be placed in ambulatory restraints. Um, if the inmate is willing to walk, he will walk under our control to the cell. Should he refuse to walk, we will utilize a wheelchair or gurney to move the inmate to the cell. We will only carry the inmate as a last resort. I would like to remind each team member there should be no unnecessary talking or removal of any equipment during the use of force. Any final questions? Okay, at this time we will proceed down to range number two, recreation deck, to attempt confrontation avoidance procedures. If confrontation avoidance fails, I will give the inmate one final order to voluntarily submit to the application restraints. 
and explain absent immediate compliance, the use of force procedures will be carried out. something out of his walkman and it's currently his jumper so staff be aware of that submit to hand restraints Wilson can't get a shot can't get a shot at this time cannot get a clear shot
put them in the holding cell. Life shackles. Where's the keys? Keys. Wilson complied. I got you, man. Place the legs, legs back on. Take this shit off myself, G man.
Team grab a hold of <coughs> So one. Right, number one.
okay, it is now date and time? The date is September 14th, 2012. Time is approximately 6.40 p.m. Okay, the, calculators, the calculated use of force has now been completed. At this time, the use of force team will reintroduce themselves, state what their actions were during the move, and if they have sustained any injuries. My name is Senior Officer Lofa. I'm responsible for obtaining the inmates' bodies to the wall. I have no injuries reported this time. Senior Officer Menez, I'm responsible for the right of appendage. No um, injuries reported this time. My name is Senior Officer Taylor. I was responsible for restraining the inmates' upper left appendage. I have no injuries to report at this time. My name is Senior Officer Special Zocolo. I was responsible for securing the inmates' lower appendage to my right. At this time, I have no injuries. Senior Officer Terry, I was the number five man in this team. I was responsible for securing the lower left appendage of the inmate and applying leg restraints. I have no injuries at this time. Senior Officer Frias, number six. Um, my position was to support. I have no injuries to report at this time. Counselor B. Somerville, I was part of confrontational avoidance. I have no injuries to report at this time. I'm Montos, Assistant Security Officer of the uh, Chemical Dispenser. Uh, I was, uh, due to the inmate's uh, health condition, OC wasn't uh, permissible, so we went to the stun gun. Uh, I shot a warning shot. Uh, I couldn't get uh, another round after that due to the inmate hiding behind the wall, so the next shot wasn't feasible. And as per the uh, team leader, uh, stun uh, steam ball grenade was dispensed. And uh, soon after the team uh, subdued the inmate, I have no in injuries at this time. Better brother, I could assist in the team's office with no injuries this time. I will now give a brief description of the use of force move. Inmate Wilson was refusing all staff orders to submit to hand restraints to be removed from the recreation deck. He was also verbalizing threats towards staff. Um, there were no abnormal issues that arose during this move. The inmate is presently in ambulatory restraints due to his uh, refusing staff orders, verbalizing threats towards staff. <coughs> there are no in injuries to inmates or staff at this time, and there were no breaks in the tape. I will now have medical staff explain the decon decontamination process, state the findings of the physical examination, injuries to staff or the inmates, application restraints, circulation, and any medical treatment provided at this time. My name is M. Delon. I'm the nurse on duty during the entire cell move. I conducted a medical assessment on the inmate following the cell movement and checked his extremities after he was placed in restraint for proper circulation. I have determined that he did not sustain any injuries from the cell move. The restraints have not hindered circulation of, the, of his extremities. I have no injuries to report at this time. Okay, uh, camera operator, state the date and time on the video camera. The date is the September 14th, 2012. Time is now 6. 43 p.m. Okay, this concludes, the, the, this concludes the immediate use of force on inmate Wilson. Register number 714 who currently remains in ambulatory restraints until the desired calming effect is reached at this time.